Hey there, talented video editors, welcome to Solly's tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through creating an amazing 2D video animation inspired by none other than Iman Gadzi. You know, the one he kicks off is how to make money in your sleep, investing guide 2024 with. So, let's dive right in. Fire up your Filmora video editor. In today's tutorial, we're going to need some assets, all neatly packed in this folder. Simply drag and drop them into your Filmora media and let's get started. Don't worry, I've got links to all these files for you in the description below. Start by placing the blue background onto your timeline. Next up, drag and drop the PNG image featuring those four individuals right on top of it. Now, head over to Effects and slap on the BNW film effect by dragging it over the image. Double click on the image to dive into the nitty gritty. Within the image panel, hit up the animation section and select the fade zoom out preset motion. Now, add two transform keyframes to kick things off smoothly. Adjust the position values to your liking, just like I'm doing here. Select all those keyframes in the panel with Ctrl plus A and give them a nice curve. Voila! Your animation is starting to take shape. Now, bring in the car image and plop it onto the timeline. Adjust its position and make it gracefully exit stage right. Add a couple of transform keyframes wherever suits your fancy. For the second keyframe, shift that car from right to left, just like so. You can even throw in another keyframe in between for some magical flair. Don't forget to curve all those keyframes for that smooth finish. Feel free to tweak the duration of the pictures to your liking. Toss those two images into the track above. Drop in that black PNG line image and position it just right on the timeline. With the image selected, resize and reposition it using the transform tool. Now, onto the fun part, masking. Opt for the linear mask. Rotate it 90 degrees. And flip it. Adjust its position and blur strength to your heart's content. Add a couple of keyframes for the mask position and shift it from top to bottom for that slick animation effect. Rinse and repeat for those images on the upper tracks, creating more empty space in the middle. Time to add some quick text. Double click, edit, and let your creativity flow. I went with glitch and positioned it just above the black line. Feel free to choose your own font style for this one. Now, duplicate that text, edit, and give it a pop of color, I went with orange. For this text, I opted for the covered by your grace font style. To kick things off, I'm adding two opacity keyframes at the start of that text. In the first keyframe, I'm setting the opacity value to 0%. Then, I'm throwing in two transform keyframes right at the beginning of this text. In the first keyframe, I'm adjusting the position downward. And in the second keyframe, I'm shifting its position to the center of the glitch text. This will give us a slick animation effect for the text. Now, onto transitions. I'm heading over to the transition menu and searching for glitch transitions. Found it. I'm dragging and dropping the glitch blocks transition right at the start of the glitch text. Next up, I'm dragging those two images back onto the track above. Another empty video track appears. Now, let's bring in that PNG image named Futuristic Toy Gun and place it in the background. Time to adjust its size and position to fit the vibe. Adding two transform keyframes at the start of the image. If I need to extend the background, I can simply duplicate it. After setting both keyframes at the start, it's time to tweak its size, position, and rotation in the second keyframe, just like this. If a third keyframe is needed, I'll add that too and make the adjustments accordingly. And of course, I'll curve all those keyframes in the panel for that smooth animation. Now, I'm doing the same thing with the second toy gun, animating it to the right in the background just like before. 
After all this, I can tweak the duration of all the files on the timeline to fit my needs. Last but not least, it's time to add the green screen money rain effect. Once added to the timeline, I'm removing its green screen background with the chroma key tool. If I'm not feeling the green screen effect and want something different, I'll head over to the stickers tab and search for the I am rich pack. There's a plethora of money falling animated stickers to choose from. Adjusting its duration, size, and position is needed. And there you have it, folks. We've crafted this awesome 2D animation inspired by Iman Gadzi's video. Hope you found this tutorial enjoyable and insightful. Don't forget to show some love by liking the video and hitting that subscribe button for more top-notch tutorials from Sali Tutorials. Thank you for tuning in.